Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make God rays in Blender. Let's get started. God rays are like beams of light that you sometimes see when the sun shines through clouds or objects. In computer graphics, they're a way to make scenes look more realistic and beautiful. They create a cool visual effect by making it seem like there are rays of light coming from a bright spot, like the sun. We have such a closed room model. I will share the download link in the video description. Press numpad 0 to switch to the camera inside the room. Hit the numpad 0 again to exit. The only way to allow sunlight into the room is through the window. Press Shift A and add sunlight to the scene. Place the sunlight in front of the window. Press Z key to switch to the Render Preview mode. Click the lamp icon and set the sunlight strength value to 100. Pick the sunlight color yellowish. Click the Render Properties tab and ensure that Cycles is Active Render Engine. Set the maximum sample value to 32 for faster rendering in the viewport. Enable the Denoise option. Set the maximum number of samples to 128 for the rendering. Adjust the sunlight angle so that the rays come through the window. Switch to the camera view. You can adjust the sunlight angle as you wish. We can also increase the ambient lighting. Click the World Properties tab and set the World Strength value to 10. So we can have more powerful ambient lighting outside of the room. Alright, now let's make the God Rays shine through the window. Z key to switch to the solid mode. Add a cube object. Rename the cube as Volume. Switch to wireframe mode and scale up the cube so that contains the entire room. Switch to rendered mode again. Switch the timeline editor to the shader editor. With the cube selected, click the new button and add a new material. Delete the principled shader and add a volume scatter shader. Plug the Volume node into the Volume node. Hide the room in the Outliner Editor. A Volume Scatter Shader is a type of material shader used to create realistic volume trick effects for objects in a 3D scene. It simulates how light interacts with the volume inside a 3D object like smoke, fog, or any other semi-transparent substance. We can adjust the density of the volumetric effect by Density node. Unhide the room model again. Switch to the camera view. As you can see, the inside room looks very dark. We need to decrease the density value. That's it. We can see the God rays come through the window now. Set the density value to 0.08. You can also adjust the sunlight angle as you desire. Then, Go to the render menu and render the image. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.